Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to see how to measure the capacity of the Dynamics 365 or, or Microsoft Power Platform Ogs. So uh, for this information, so you need to log in with the admin center and with the help of admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com, you can easily, na easily navigate it to that center. So as you can see, I'm already logged in over here. And in, in, in this dashboard, you can see there is from environment to the admin center, I have several options are available. But here we are only going to cover the resource tab because we are here we are only going to see how to measure the capacity of the our Dynamics 365 or data was tables, right? So for this, you need to just click on this capacity. And from capacity, from the summary tab, as you can see, this information is categorized in a three section. First is database where it maintains all the tables Second one is a file, whatever the file that we are using in a system, like if uploading the file and it is saved in certain location. So that location is calculated from here. And certainly there are some log files are there because system uh, in a background process, there has a lot of uh, system jobs has written and those information keep maintained by these logs. So, so this, all this information is categorized in three sections. And over a period of time where we are constantly using this application in a Dynamics 365 or a power platform, after a certain amount of time, it gets uh, filled out all the information and there, we, there and there we need to measure how much memory being used and how much memory we need to clear out for that purpose. This uh, this is the best uh, navigate. This is the best admin center where you can do it. So now these are the overall. These are the same. Uh, these are the dashboard. Now let's get to the some much more detailed information for this. We need to click on this dataverse option. And here, uh, once you click on this database option, you can see I have only one or listed over here. This is my Bukhashir or, and uh, here you can see I have, this is my fresh or, so that's why database you database uses file and log file, literally the, those are empty. So to get more information, you need to click on this icon. Now, once you click on this icon, so again, it gives some more detailed in-depth information of whatever the amount of memory we are consuming. So this information is cons uh, in, is categorized in a table. This information categorized into the uh, our files, and this is information categorized categorized by the log files. So those information is maintained like that. And this chart is pretty much useful. Like you know, uh, the best part of the chart is like if I simply check this is the green line represent the async operation base. So on the first, uh, I've just covered this information as you can quickly see as the date is mentioned. Oh, so user can easily understand on the 12th, uh, on the 12th, uh, I have started con consuming 3.55 MB. And from this, uh, two days is 11. So on 11th, I have reached out to the 14 gigs of memory. So this is pretty much, I mean, this pretty much interactive chart, I would say. Again, I think it's powered by Power BI. It's pretty much useful, but again, you cannot see all the tables from the system because I guess in Dynamics 365 or in Power Backup, uh, out of box there are more than 700 entities are present. Yes, more than 700 entities. So that's why it is not possible to bring all the entity inside this chart. Okay, and and yes, it will also cover the our custom entities. So how to get those information? So there's a there's option is available like this. You can you can see this amber icon is there. So once you click on this amber icon, you can see uh, three options are there. Yes, uh, if you click on this option, so this image, this visualization get uh, full size. This will simply download the this current uh, uh, current uh, visualization in, in converted into the image. And this is most important. Important like once you click on this uh, option, it will convert all the information in a CSV file. So that's user. So we can easily you know read out that information. So yeah, you can see I've just downloaded that information. Let me open that file. And yes, let me open. Yeah, as you can see, all the tables, whatever the custom tables, standard tables, every, each and every table is listed over here. And as you can see, this is the first table, guys, localized table, localized label, and then and the size of that localized table is 101 MB, and the attribute tables have the 90 MB. So this uh, here it, it, you can see what are the size of all the tables, and if I scroll down, so I literally see this is more than 700 tables. Yeah, more than yeah 850, almost 848 tables are listed over here. So it will use all the data size of those all 800 plus tables along with your custom tables. So I think guys, I hope this you like uh, you like this information. If you like it, so please uh, like and uh, subscribe to my channel and share with your uh, people who want to uh, ex who want to explore their 
possibilities in dynamics and power flow. Thank you.